Well, the Bahamas has been recommended for removal from the EU blacklist. The European Union Code of Conduct Group made the recommendation to remove the Bahamas from the list of non-cooperative jurisdictions for tax purposes. The Ministry of Finance made the announcement on Tuesday after receiving confirmation from the Secretariat of the Code of Conduct Group. Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister Peter Turnquest, says government is pleased with the good news. We are very encouraged uh, at this stage. Uh, we look forward to the full uh, uh, ECOFIN uh, meeting uh, on the 25th of May uh, when we expect the official um, delisting to occur. Um, this is the culmination of uh, uh, hard work uh, by our team here at the Ministry of Finance, um, supported by the Ministry of Financial Services and the Attorney General's Office, uh, as well as uh, and, uh, and a group that I'm very grateful uh, and, and impressed with, and that being our industry partners. Well, a statement issued by the Ministry of Finance notes that during the European Code of Conduct Group meeting on April 12th, member states' delegations agreed to recommend the decision to the European Economic and Financial Affairs Council, which is responsible for making the official decision. But Turnquest says the Bahamas is moving steadily toward meeting the December 31st deadline to be fully compliant with international standards. We continue to be engaged uh, with our uh, European partners. Uh, and with the industry to ensure that we are um, keeping abreast of uh, changes that are coming uh, as well as to spot trends um, to ensure that we uh, are put ourselves in the best position uh, to react proactively uh, towards the, the compliance challenges um, that we, we see. Um, the key to, I think, uh, us keeping uh, ourselves um, off this non-cooperative list uh, is to, uh, can, to ensure that we continue to be proactive in our dialogue uh, with the European Union.